Our boys over at CF Moto just showed up to deliver our new motorcycles. We got six Papios, so each one of the boys gets their own Papio. And then we also got this CLX 700. But something cool about CF Moto is they understand that it's a shame to put a perfectly good machine to waste. So anyways, they have these prototypes right here that are supposed to be crushed. They actually are going to be crushed after today. So they just told us, hey, do whatever you want with them. So I, I, mean, I don't know what we're gonna do with them, but I'm sure we'll find something. It would really be a shame to send them home in one piece. Yeah, yeah. I think Have... this is the best day of my life. Huh? Yeah. We, I can't believe we went this long without road bikes on the channel. Obviously the R6s are an exception, but. We've been trying to avoid the streets because I don't know if I fully trust all of us on the streets. <laughs> What'd you just say? Oh, now you want to warm it up? So whenever it's not his personal vehicle, he starts it, redlines it, beats the shit out of it, blows it up within 45 minutes. So this is his. Now he's like, oh, should we warm it up properly before we go, guys? Sounds like he's onto me. <laughs> <laughs> I do not think Ken should be on a motorcycle, honestly. It's a safety hazard for the public and a safety hazard to himself. Cormorant motorcycle gang. <laughs> I got these vests for all of us. F for you. Oh, beautiful. Uh, Ryan. They told me uh, these are not allowed to be worn at Sturgis. The embroidery ladies are big bikers. I was like, oh, would we get in like beef? And they're like, yeah, don't wear those at Sturgis. And then Ken, I got you one more thing here. Since you're the leader, actual chaps. You can't ride in shorts, bro. What the does this work? <laughs> could you have got like any smaller of leather chaps? They need to be tight, Ken. <laughs> Only Ken could fill up assless chaps. <laughs> I saw this whole thing on TikTok where these guys were wearing just like a motorcycle club and it's a club on the uh, back and a real motorcycle club like press them about it and they got in a shootout. Cause it's like very against biker code to have a club if you are not a registered club. Oh, club boy. is like what? the legal way of saying gang. What are we getting well, We kind of are a club. <laughs> If anyone asks, we're from out of town. That's even worse. You're like an absolute idiot wearing this. <laughs> Is that safety? Yeah, it's safer than having nothing on your head. It'll fall off. It's honestly going to cause me to get into an accident. The helmet is going to make it more unsafe for Evan. No, I feel that way. Everyone else is get exhaust but Ken's. Poor Ken sounds like a moped right now. Unbelievable. Whoa. You're the sane one in this group now. I feel much more comfortable getting reckless out in the woods, not in the middle of town where we're gonna all end up in jail. Ev just hates sharing the spotlight. He's just mad that everyone <laughs> turned the narrative into that. <laughs> pretty cool right now. Yeah, you, you guys look like something. I don't know if cool is the first word that comes to mind. I like that. Thank you. Hardcore. Easy storage, too. <laughs> trying to think like all right what can we do with this thing being that it's going to get destroyed in about 35 minutes i'm kind of drawing blanks because we've done everything with motorcycles that we own and we intend on keeping 
It is true. What do we do? <laughs> Run out of options here. We finally have something they're like, destroy this in a cool way, and we're just like, I don't know, I can't really think of anything. <laughs> yeah, that's how we're kind of drawing blanks here. Evan starts warming them up and everything. We're like, what the f now you're changing? <laughs> oh, figured I better throw on all my rocket riding gear. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Ev's riding the rocket, and I think Mike is taking the adventure bike. I just been lifting up feet of bank roll. How to say go, got it flooded to my ankle. Need a brain cold, careful. Ain't bold, gotta stay flow. I might pull up in a stage coach, playing Beethoven. Whoa, didn't think that it would work. Now they coming out the woodwork. Built up my own platform, could say I'm in the woodwork. Probably off some footwork. Well, either that or the hookwork. Always think it'll hook first. Now I got it. <laughs> Dude, when Mike's came down, I felt the ground move. They're using all the suspension. I can't, could you put a price on? I said, I ain't selling nothing, these are my song. Oh, he cleared it! <laughs> Evan's gotta be one of the best crotch rocket riders on the earth. Like, he probably couldn't compete on a circuit, but I mean, anywhere else, he'd beat everyone. Man, that bike just clunks down. How'd that feel? Good. <laughs> Not bad. Yeah, dude, what am I hitting? I think you're hitting the bottom of the suspension. I swear, we don't even try and do this. It's just how the cards lay out. Mike is <laughs> constantly set up to not look cool compared to Evan. Evan just looks so sick, and then Mike, bro. Prove him wrong, Mike. Show him what you can do. Oh, man. I got too much bike for this. Evan is really at home on a rocket. We might need to get some harder terrain back here. Mike wasn't quite as nimble as Ev there. <laughs> I don't see many hard enduro guys doing burnouts. <laughs> I forget this is pretty light work compared to most of the places we've taken Evan on the R6. Hell's Pass? It's a little bit harder than this, huh? Yeah, a little bit. Evan's just trying to find whatever he can do that's hard. You do have a whole house over there. If you hit it with enough speed, you probably are tough enough. I mean, you kind of built like a bowling ball. You'd go right through it. Just stay behind the windshield. <laughs> All right, so as we said earlier, both these motorcycles are testing units, they're prototypes, and they have to be crushed after we're done with them. So I feel like we can't let that happen uh, while they're still completely functioning bikes. Uh, so we have a plan to launch it off of that FMX ramp to make sure that they go home in pieces. What do we got? A little duct tape ingenuity. Send this thing into orbit. I saw that thing coming at me. I didn't know whether to go left or right. Yeah, I think this one wants to stay upright. You ready, Mikey? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so hard to destroy bikes, man. All right, now I'll jump it into the fucking pond. That might be the only dude I know that can just hop on an adventure bike and be like, all right, let's jump it into the pond. Oh my God. You good? I drink a lot of water. It's hard to swim in boots, but I'm real good. <laughs> yes. She jumped like a dream. <laughs> If we keep doing these water stunts, we're gonna have to get a lifeguard out here. You guys want it out of the pond? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. The screen still works? Unreal. Dude, if oh, this no. fires up. There's no way. Oh. <laughs> All 
All right, boys. I know there's been some high tensions. A couple guys have been stressed around the shop lately. Ev, you've taken a couple hard falls. You gotta be a pretty sore. Yeah, pretty sore. So I figured a, a good team bonding exercise and a, a body de-stressor. We'll do some uh, paddleboard yoga. I can't balance to begin with, and I also can't do yoga on the earth. <laughs> Perfect. Ken, I think you're gonna be an absolute superstar at this. I don't think so. I think the opposite. Carly's gonna be our instructor. Ev? Yes. Don't get weird. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I can get nowhere near my toes. Ken, you better stretch out so we don't have any torn muscles here. Oh, wow, that's pretty good, Ken. Good. Oh, I can touch them. Because I'm so tall, I'm so far away. <laughs> Evan's extremely athletic, but in terrible shape. I bet you Ken's wishing he didn't have that burrito for lunch. Oof. Yeah. I'm gonna have you breathe in and do some cat, and then some cows breathe out. I can't hear what you're saying. Ken's making noise. Ev, you're supposed to be quiet. Into upward dog. And then you can stay in upward Good job, Ken. You're doing great. <laughs> Okay, and I'm downward dog. We're gonna go into our tree pose. Just like that, Evan. You're gonna wanna put your bottom on your heels and move your hands forward and feel that stretch along your spine. Yeah, it's working. Holy oh, yes. And when I was trying to sneak over. Keep your paddle board away from the instructors. I'm sorry about him. <laughs> Take some deep breaths. I'm in a bad spot knowing what Ken ate for lunch today. I'm not gonna lie, this yoga stuff is harder than I thought. Now we're gonna be moving into our headstands. Oh, this should be good. He's trying to show off. I can sense that. Right, <laughs> this is so peaceful. <laughs> oh! Focus on your breath. I can't focus on breathing when I'm trying to balance. Oh no. Oh! <laughs> Oh my knee! <laughs> I heard something pop. How hard were you stretching? I don't know. Apparently too hard. Ow. You okay? No. Uh, yoga? Go grab me a box of teas. I'm gonna finish off <laughs> this yoga session. Oh. Is he hurt? Is he okay? When we were on shore, I don't know if the camera's running, I go, look, someone's gonna tear their ACL today doing yoga. You said that? I said that. Why would you say that? Well, because this is when bad things always happen doing the most not bad things. Always. Ken, did you like overextend it? I don't know. Are you okay? I hope you have good insurance. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be one of the most accident prone people I know. It's gonna take you off for, for some big stunts for quite some time. <laughs> well, last time I did this was on a uh, mechanical bull, so. <laughs> Oh, and you were just about to ride it this weekend, too. <laughs> we're just continuing the streak of dumb thing I do to my knees. As you can heard of this time, one of those crazy stunts you boys are doing. Ow! Ow! Fuck! Well, Ken, we, we could always get you one of those electric wheelchairs that CJ had when he broke his foot for a while. Yeah, I'm not a pussy like that. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Change a heart on the cart, then? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what the doctor said? It's uh, like a stretched or a strained MCL. Only my second time doing that in the last couple of years, so. Dude, you're having a tough go at it, huh, Ken? It's been a rough 12 months. You've had a rough eight years, man. Since I've known you, you've had a bad time. Where I've used my insurance more in the last, like, three years than I did for the last, like, 20. <laughs> <laughs> might be your line of work. Some yeah. guys just can't catch a break. All right, guys, so last merch drop, we ran a giveaway with these three pit bikes behind me. We have the three winners here on this sheet of paper that we've already contacted and let them know that they won. So congratulations to Greg Kuttner, Harold Wright, and Blaine Schultz. Greg chose the pit bike, and then the other two guys chose the cash option of $5,000. So we still have these two pit bikes to do something with, which comes at a really cool time. So Make-A-Wish Foundation reached out to us and said that they had a kid that's been battling 
fighting cancer and his one wish was to meet us and come and hang out with us for the day. So to us, this is like the biggest honor ever because he could have chose anything or gone anywhere and uh, we wanted to make the experience really special. So he loves dirt biking and he loves the color blue. Naturally, it only makes sense to give him this pit bike. So he's just about here. We're gonna hang out with him for the day and uh, I think he's gonna be pretty excited about his new bike. All right, Noah's outside here. We'll go and grab him. Come back in and surprise him with his new bike. All right, better get to riding. Beat the rain, huh? Yeah. yeah that's what Let's do doing. it. So did Ev get you set up? Yeah, he got my helmet. Which bike were you gonna ride? The blue one. Mine? Yeah. I don't care. I don't care. I mean, that thing's pretty clapped. We'll go inside and we'll get you set up on a different bike. A little bit better shape. We figured it only makes sense if we're gonna be riding dirt bike, you should be riding something fresh, you know? Yeah. It also makes sense that blue's your favorite color, so we figured you'd look, uh, you'd look a little bit better on this one. Yeah. And then you can go home with it. What? Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> it's our little gift to you. Thank you so much. For being much. such a warrior. Yeah. Thank you, guys. You bet, man. Welcome, dude. You bet. Now that you got a bike, let's go ride the track, huh? Gotta stay fresh like a brand new whip that.